You are buying me if you propose before going, before doing the lobolas. I'm very confused, guys. <laughs> Actually, I am. Laugh, 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 laugh. Hello, hello. Hey hello, guys, hello, how are family, you? Friends. <laughs> it's us again. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome to, to our YouTube channel. channel. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm Mini here. I'm Saki. And together we are. Red Family, them kisses. Them kisses. Mm -hmm. So, guys, I just want to welcome. If you are watching this video for the first time, welcome yes. to the family. Mm -hmm. But if you are coming back, we just it's nice to see you again. Oh yeah, yeah. please subscribe <laughs> to our channel and like. And, um, yeah, also like and follow and share to those. Yes, who, yes, 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 yes. Who you yes. think they will understand in terms of that black like, to keep to keep the love. Uh, yes, please do check us on our the social medias, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. That's where all the fun happens. I'm joking. Even here. It's going to be more fun here too. Of course, of course, of course. We, yeah. are, we, we are fun people. That's what we do, baby. Mm -hmm. So today, guys, we wanted to take you back in, in, in terms of our proposal and where we were in terms of um, our mindset and why we did it. Um, mainly because I'll give you a background in... I'm not sure if the culture or traditionally, since we are here in South Africa and we are Zulus, usually there is this thing of saying it's wrong to, to to propose somebody before you go to their family and 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 pledge your lobola and do the lobola negotiations. I think people think otherwise. As for me, I'm I'm gonna we, I think we're gonna tell the story of our life story in terms of how. When did Kavazela propose and why did he propose? What was the reason behind it and how did I accept it? And how how did we strive afterwards in terms of saying, now are we just be, even though like, because he proposed before he can even pay the lobola. So the question he was, did I consider myself engaged? Or it was just, I'm not sure what they call it. They call it... You are holding me, you're more like le buying, baby. <laughs> Can you believe that? So most people will say you are le buying me if you propose before going, before doing the lobolas and all that. While for me, I, I don't think so. I mean, I like the surprises. I like I like the the tara. I like the going down the knees. I, I think we're gonna tell you more about that. I like it. Ah me, for me, I I, I still want it. Even if I can do it again, I think I'll still want that. That's for me, that I know for sure. Babe, uh, at least what are you believe? Uh, do you oh, no, 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 uh, no. What is it? I, I what do is remember it? when I, I do remember <laughs> when I uh, proposed. Yeah. Proposed or one? Proposed, babe. Oh, yeah, proposed, yeah. Like putting, going down the knees and putting the ring and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, proposed. Pro and at proposing. the time, you were not working. I didn't even have money in the bank for Nobola. No, but I wasn't proposing... Uh, yeah, I think I think I, I think that's I what you're gonna discuss today. I wasn't relating today. proposing in Lobola. I wasn't relating mm, I relating it. I was treating it as a, a separate journey mm. in the stage where I am True. at a time. So for me, I've always uh, tried to simplify things. I've always mm. tried to to be to be a simple guy, you know, and and I've always tried to really look at defining my own way of loving mm. and. Uh, I try to run away from a lot of uh, a lot of influences or and stories or mm. how things should be done or mm. which is the right time to do things, which is the wrong time. So for me, it, 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 I've, I've always tried to be unique like that, to, uh, do what I felt at the time and what was in my heart at the time. Okay. As, uh, if you know us, you realize that, uh, uh, I'm not sure if I've mentioned before, that when I met Kev, I think it was just within a month or so, and then as soon as I told him that... Um, I'm, I'm saving myself for the husband or it wasn't for the husband as such. I was like, no, I'm not into boys and I'm saving. He was like, oh, <laughs> you wish because you're going to be my wife one day. So he, within a month, he said he's going to marry me. But at the time we were in varsity, so we were not working and we were still studying. And we're coming from the background where we don't have support from back home. We are not from rich background or maybe support everything we, we had to do ourselves. We had to raise ourselves. We had to provide for ourselves. So I think this was 2008 when we met. And then we went we went through our journey, as I've mentioned. And then uh, I, oh, I was 17 when I met him. 
but I was we were not intimacy until I was 21 where I fell from the 2012 that's where he actually did the proposal <laughs> So I think today we're gonna to find out the reason behind it, uh, in terms of him, what was his what's going on in his mind, and was he really buying me, or it's what he wanted to do, and it's what as he has been mentioning. So in 2012, I did my uh, I I at home I think at the beginning of the year they did um, memulo. Unfortunately, my husband was not there because I I I, I had in, at the time. My mom didn't know him, but my sisters and my siblings knew him. But they, my mom just saw you on my graduation because I think <laughs> at that year I graduated and my mom did so cavazel, but he kept she kept quiet. <laughs> you know how how streets our moms are. So, uh, and then yes, and then twenty twelve. I think it was around June. Mm, it was after my memulo once was done. I came organized a proposal. <laughs> and at the time I was doing my honors level and I was studying. And I remember him that year he was trying to get a job and he couldn't get a job. As a result, he had to come back and say, babe, I would rather continue my studies because he had finished his honors. Uh, I would rather continue and do my master's. I remember, baby, you came back to 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 the city to do your master's because you also were depending on the, on, on 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 being a tutor again. So I think that's where you got a, 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 a even an income to do the proposal and all because you were not working. So 2012, you came back to do your master's, but you were not staying in varsity, and I was alone in varsity now, doing my honors. But you came back and tried to propose with your last money you got from tutoring. So my question is, okay, he proposed in 2012. Actually, I'm not sure if he's going to tell you about more proposal, but I'm going to tell you a story. He called me and said, baby, today we are going out. I was like, okay, babe, usually we'll use uh, the buses. We caught the popopo -po -po in the side of Deben. So we went, I, okay, and then we, we went. I was like, okay, where are we going? He used to take me out from time to time because... He was having this temporary job, um, the two-story one. So, and then we went to Shaka Marine. <laughs> I think there was a, a restaurant there, Mojo. So, it was my first time uh, going there. Um, I'm, I'm not sure about him. So, we went there. And then for the first time, we, we ate nice food and all that. And I was like, oh, wow, wow. Like, moment later, what I was eating. And now it was a dessert. I'm like, baby, you even ordered dessert? Nice. And then when it comes the dessert, ha! The dessert was closed. I'm like, okay, what's going on, guys? <laughs> the dessert was closed. And then when I opened it, they said I must open it. When I open it, I, I see people all around me. Oh, there was a music there in Mo in Is it Mojo, babe? Mm -hmm. Yes. There was music there. People singing now. My darling. I'm like, what's going on? Why people are singing my words? And then there he is. He's got a mic already. Ha! This guy. And then he's on his phone. Be, he's on his uh, knees saying baby I want you to make him the best way and then <laughs> so in my mind I was like I'm not even thinking about the lobola situation now I'm not even thinking I was like it's something we always wanted I think it's something that we always spoke about us when we were invested to say once we once you get a job baby I'm gonna marry you and all that but just because life didn't didn't come as we we, we hoped so but what I like about Kelly, it didn't stop him to do what he wanted. I know if it was up to him, he was going to wait until he has a job so that he can do and pull stands. He likes pulling stands where there's like people. <laughs> I'm thinking, baby. So I think that's, that was my day. And then he called his man saying, yeah, I did it. I was like, it was a lot of work. And I'm thinking, baby, when did you get time to do this? Remember, he was a student. Where did you get time to do that? I think it was a beautiful day. And he bought a ring. It was a very beautiful ring. I think that ring, he once asked me about it. And I was like, oh, babe, I like this ring. Ah, without me knowing, this guy is going to buy that ring. In, in American Swiss, I believe. <laughs> and then you bought the ring. And I was like, yeah. I'm engaged to the love of my life, I guess. That was for me. I think that's for me. That was very important. And I never took off the ring. Um and I think the I think the the hardest part was uh, was the twenty twelve we're gonna talk about twenty twelve and then when did the lobole start actually when you you were you were in a better state. But 
what I've noticed about you, what I like about you all, all throughout our love, it's a sacrifice that you are always doing to put us first, to put our love first. Babe, I just wanted to know, uh, one one can ask, wow, what, 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 what was the reason you doing um, the proposal uh, just after my memulo was because you wanted to get some? <laughs> and secondly, was it because you you want you were scared of losing me that now things are not going as we have hoped or thirdly was it because of what anyway in my in my world i always believed in finding the one so yeah. for me that is where i was and uh, i i think growing up i always had a hard life so i always believed in pushing and mm. fighting to get something you know so I think the part and part of uh, uh, proposing was me showing my seriousness in terms of mm. commitment to say I want to stay, I want to build something, I'm not just here to be a boyfriend, mm. number one or number two. I, I, was, I was showing my, my, my seriousness, this is what I want to do, and I was showing her that I want to spend uh, the rest of my life with her. Mm. Yeah, so uh, I always believed in... in uh, making our relationship a happy place for me mm. because I knew I had problems all around. So it was all mostly about um, how, do, how do I make this relationship a happy place, you know. So I had to, I had to think about my wife more than myself. Mm. I had to think about, at the end of the day, she likes to be spoiled, she likes nice things, she likes to be taken out, she likes to be proposed, she likes to get married, she likes like and like and like. So obviously, it was a matter of me paying attention to those details. I mean, I mean, it is dangerous to be in a situation where you, 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 you keep on postponing things for a very long time. I believe you are only taken serious as a man hmm. when you show when you show something when you show and you work towards something i think slowly and slowly she starts to take you serious and that's what i've always focused on i've always focused on how do i get my my wife to take me serious by 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 being an action man you know hmm. uh, obviously i consider myself a, a crazy person so <laughs> obviously from there i had to think about how the proposal was going to be done um, uh, obviously, it didn't happen the way that I, I wanted it, 100% the way I wanted it, because of uh, many factors. I'm just glad that I did it. But obviously, if I, I had an opportunity to do it again and uh, I'm, I'm giving more money, I would, I, would, I would do it. I would try and maybe look at a better, a better place to propose or a better idea because I had a lot of ideas, you know. Yeah, I wanted to take her on a boat and yeah, I, uh, I wanted to try those ideas or maybe on an aeroplane while it's flying, and, you know. <laughs> so I had a lot of ideas, but you know, it ended up being in a, in a restaurant somewhere. Um, and then I had to organize, you know, people who were going to sing. Uh, I had to I had to come back like a week prior to organize and book the place and Aww. all of that. Just for, and then I had to had to check in and check in as well. Yes, my wife is correct. I was working. I was working as a tutor. Obviously, I was getting paid that amount. Yes, yeah. Um, but yeah, well, with that amount, I managed to pull a lot of things through. I think what is what was important for me is uh, just for me to be there, no matter what circumstances we are facing. Mm -hmm. And uh, and at that time, it didn't really bother me that I don't have uh, enough money because she wasn't away. Of that, so it wasn't really a big deal. Like if I had like, I don't know, one thousand, it wasn't a big deal that I was spending all of it, and because I knew she wasn't aware of that, you know. So for me, it was all about giving her the time, and making her happy. Because I found that the more info she got, the more sad she became. You know. So I'm saying, yeah, it was okay for me when she didn't know. I had obviously to sacrifice and and use her last money, you know. Uh, I'm happy that she appreciate those things, you know. Yeah, but uh, if I had more money, obviously I was going to do more. Baby, were you only buying me, or you wanted some? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about the relationship between getting some and proposals and things like that. I'm not, because, Pele, you knew me I'm that I was sure. like I wasn't ready to. 
I'm not too sure whether my mind was there because I waited for too, too long not getting some. So I don't think getting some was a core foundation of the relationship. Mm. So for me, it wasn't something that I was focused on the most in terms of building us. Uh, uh, we managed to stay for like five years without doing anything. So obviously from there it was more like I, I can stay with this woman. I can mm. we we and then we went through our ups and downs during that process. You know, I had an option to leave, I didn't. So I'm saying I always had a mindset of doing things the right way and if you fail, just try change other strategies and try other ways. Mm -hmm. So I was never a person who who was experimenting. I was just a person who was like, you know, I'm going to fight. I, whatever it is that I'm doing, I'm going to win at the end. Mm -hmm. That was my mentality. So other things, uh, no, not really. My mindset was always on doing the right things. And it was always on, uh, you know, just a journey, just building a journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's where I was. It wasn't about getting things or, you uh, know. For me, it wasn't about that. For me, it was more about um, understanding love as, as you know, like selfless giving and, you know, doing things for your partner. Obviously, there are challenges from, from that, but that is where my mindset was and that is where my mind is today. Mm. Mm. Thank you, baby. I think I, I, I do really appreciate that. And even though I knew at the time we were not working, we didn't even have money for Lobola because I know most people would have, say, propose if you are already ready, you have some money saved and all that. Guys, in case you were wondering, I did wear my ring. I wear my ring until Kev was ready to say, baby, I'm coming home. <laughs> I think uh, that year he couldn't get a job, 2012, and then 2013 he tried to go and, and, and get some, but he wasn't paid for the whole year until he received some money, I think it was November or so, and it was in, I think it was 15,000 or something, but he said, he took that money and said, baby, I'm ready to go home. I'm like, baby, you don't even have a permanent job, like you're going to go with your trailer and then what's going to happen after, but he had faith, he's like, I know, I don't know what's going to happen next year. But I'm taking this money to go at your home and introduce myself. I think I was happy. I was happy that finally his, my mom will know him. And funny enough, I would wear the ring, but my mama wouldn't notice. I don't know why. <laughs> so my sister knew, my brother knew, but my mom, she didn't notice until I think on my second graduation. And then when my sister who's covers all and then... <laughs> Uh, if, even if she did ask, I was gonna tell him because I was I felt like I was old enough. I was already after twenty one. My memula was done. I have a degree already, so I was I was like, what more does she want? I think at the time, even I wasn't working twenty thirteen. I was at home, the job in twenty fourteen, and then everything was finished by then, like all the lobolas and situations. I think. I think it was a journey, baby. I'm not sure if would you would you want to say more about the Lobola situation or you you can cover it next time. Uh, I want to cover it next time. Okay. Yeah, but what I do know, um, um what I want to end with is, uh, you know, I think um, uh, God, you know, he he also helps you where you focus the most at. Mm. Yeah. So for me, it was more about where I wasn't really focusing more on. Uh, getting a lot of money or being or using that to say I'm ready to do things. Mm -hmm. To me, I always saw myself as a fighter. So mm -hmm. if I'm a fighter, whatever money that I had, I had to think about that. I had to mm -hmm. think about where to best locate it, uh, to so that it so that it puts me in 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 a better position in terms of the journey that I want. Mm -hmm. You know, so that is how I've always thought, and I think it did assist me a lot because. I wasn't looking into getting a permanent job or getting, I was looking into should I get a breather, should I get uh, money, whatever amount, mm -hmm. I'm going to use it for this. Mm -hmm. Should I get this money, I'll use it for that. Should I get this money? So I always thought about it that way. So yeah. hence, so hence for me, that is where, uh, you know, I got an opportunity, I got money, then I said, hey, let me use this money to lobola. Mm -hmm. And uh, God is going to provide the rest of what I'm going to do, how am I going to lobola and finish, how am I going to get married. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Other, all other things felt into place slowly and slowly after, but obviously my priorities have always been to just, just lowball, mm. you know. Yeah, because one of the thing is, 
I was I was very far with his fa with her family. Yeah. So no, obviously, yeah, it's far from I was baby. far with the relatives. I was far with brothers because mm. of that situation that I have in Lobola and mm. stuff. So, uh, but I knew in some in, in some ways, the proposal maybe was helping me. But uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think Lobola did assist me a lot just for me to get. Um, her family to really know me, mm. interact with me, talk to me, mm. and, and all of those things. Yeah, that is that is our journey. Yes, I hope that you guys did proposal. have some lessons. I think, I think in conclusion, if they're the person, if your person, you know, your person, you know their struggle, you know their situation. For us, it wasn't a labor. You can say it's a labor if you say a man who puts a, a ring on, on her finger without lobola, without going it's a labor. That's your definition. I think in our love story, we had challenges, but it's something that we wanted to do. And it was special. I felt special when he was doing it. And I, I wear that ring for five years because it took us that long to actually get married. I wear that ring for five years and I still treasure it even today. So I'm just, all I'm saying is, define your own life story and don't assume just because it didn't work from somebody else and i think there is a define the reason behind your person decide to 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 propose to you is he is he able to 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 to, to put the lobola or not or maybe he just want to show some commitment as Kavazera has been saying i think that's also very important to me, oh, thank you, babe, for mm. sharing it. To me, I think I want to come back to focus. Mm. Yeah, I want to come back to um, being a staying, being a focus man. And from there, it's important. It's important for us to be disciplined. You know, uh, somehow. Mm. Um, I'm grateful of the fact that we were not doing anything. I think that also did push me. To work more harder to get some i think it's very difficult to get some and you are in the process because you're already getting something so you might be you might be deceived to think why must i then push this thing why must i fight for it because i'm already getting everything now mm -hmm. you see so i mean i'm saying the decision of not doing not 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 doing intimacy is the best decision to make because it's going to push you to say i'm not getting anything i want to get something eventually but through this process, this after this process, I think as as a man, it can help you to work even more harder. Mm. It can help you to to prioritize more and fight more, you mm. know. But I'm saying, if you are already getting some and you 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 haven't proposed, you haven't lobola, it might delay the process. It mm. might help you. It might make you think, hey, what am I lobolaing for? Mm. You know, what am I getting married for? What am I getting now that I won't be getting then? You know. Yeah. Yeah. So the the thing is. If you guys are, uh, are intimate and all of a sudden uh, one person gets uh, pregnant, it becomes a problem now. Whether you are pushing to lobola quicker because of the child or you are pushing because of you love this person and you want to spend the rest of your life with them. Mm. So those are also some of the issues, you know, that I think uh, personally I was trying to run away from. I wanted... My wife to understand that I'm doing this because I love you, mm. not because of a certain situation mm. behind it. To me, it was all about love, and uh, it was all about me trying to to show my love. And to me, baby, just it it gave me the your commitment to me, you following up on the promises that you had made to me. That's how that's what it meant. So. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope they, you, you've got some takeaways on this one. Uh, I think, yeah. Thank you very much. We love you. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so like, much, guys. And share yeah. to other communities so that we can grow and and then we, we, we learn from each other's stories, mm. guys. So we love you so much. Thank you for being with us, guys. It's the Red Family. Signing Them up. kisses. Signing up. Bye-bye. <laughs> love, love.